And now we're off to see the wizard's place. Professor Chandler's long walk beckons as we wend our way through this amazing array of conservation of excellent. We have a blue blaze and we're going into uplands. like mostly oak and hickory. <coughs> ah, sassafras. It's still a bit overcast. The sun occasionally threatens to poke its head in but in a way it's kind of cool because the muted light I think is a nice fit to the place ah, and here we're at our first Trail fork indication. Citing the altogether appropriate sassafras trail. Well, yeah. Let's see. I think I'll continue along Professor Chandler's walk. will take me this way. This heads back to the parking lot and a spot where the tides can be treacherous, treacherous to nitwits such as me. And our first trail junction. There we have a look back towards the parking lot, the ever-present sassafras, the professor's long walk heading straight ahead, and another tra trail junction, Appy's Way. We'll continue along Professor Chandler's long walk. where Appy's Way rejoins the main trail. It's a little loop. The woods is alive with migrating warbler waves. One pass but was drowned out by a plane. I try to be alert to more of them. Warblers are interesting in that they come north in groupings by their respective species. I wonder what that was. 
and upon return to the neotropical homelands, they go back in mixed flocks. But Mass Audubon did indicate that we're right around the height of warbler migration, and this is right in the heart of their flyway. trail do we have here? Ah yes, the Hickory Grove Trail. I, there's an astonishing amount of hickory around here. My brother would be psyched. He makes drumsticks, which generally work best with hickory. I can hear the thin, subtle signal peeps of warblers everywhere. Some chickadees, too. The chickadees are more, their language is a little more complicated. Yeah, this is all. Oh, there's one right there. <laughs> this is their sort of drab fall plumage phase. In the spring, it's quite something to see them in their prime coloration shortly after annual molt. This is a great trail. So we have teeming avians, teeming ichthians, fish galore, and no doubt all manner of others. And this is where Professor Chandler's walk concludes. I'm not confronted by three heron, great white herons, maybe they're egrets, hanging out like they own the place. Oh, the crappy light. Yeah.